Monday, which means it's the beginning of week two. And I hope that you've got a lot of energy because the show is only four days away. Now, stage makeup is a very important part of theater. And here at camp, we have a class called Stage Makeup that teaches you how to do your own. I'm trying to yep. Is that your rush? Oh, you can. You can be in. Yeah. Your field reporter, Bill Duncan, here with four tigers from Stage Makeup McKenna Johnson, Sol Espinoza, Taylor Lakey, and Kira. Awesome. So, what characters have you created so far? Um, tigers mostly? Tigers? What about the other days that you've done? Um, it's <laughs> okay, do you know? We've done tigers, street makeup, so like trying to make ourselves, but using makeup for stage. And old age. Cool. Can you tell me how much time you think that each one takes? Around 45 minutes. Okay. Okay. So do you work by yourself or do you kind of is this like a team project? Well, we work by ourselves, but the teacher helps us if we're having trouble. Okay, that's nice of her. So, do you think that stage makeup is important to the stage or not really? Yes, because it um, makes you look like your real character. If you didn't have any of that, you would just look your, like yourself. Like me. Like, if I was playing a tiger, I just went out like this, no one would know I'm a tiger? Yeah, no. Um, okay. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> so, back to the studio. Makeup is a powerful tool. Great work, you guys. Now, Siam is known for many things, and this next piece is not about the land, but about the sea. So now it's time for Siam and I. Did you know that Thailand has over 1,400 islands? Most of these islands are uninhabited, which means that nobody lives on them. These islands are located in the Gulf of Thailand and the Adamant Sea, making them great locations for scuba diving. Another equally important part of our show is tech, which is short for technical theater. These people help design the look of the show as well as run the lights and the sound. So let's go meet some of our techies. Hi, Belle here with our very own technical director, Mr. Tim. So we were looking around at all the sets, you know, so we were wondering how did you come up with the design for them? Sometimes I'll read the script, sometimes I'll dream it at night, I'll work on something and it isn't quite right and I'll go home and wake up at three in the morning and it'll all just come to me magically. So. While we were looking around we saw these really cool, like it looks like marble bowl, but it's wood. Is there like a specific paint technique that you had to do to get those? Yeah, and actually YouTube is a great resource for many things. So. The real key to most stage painting is to put a lot of water in the paint. That's that's my little trick. It helps blend things in. But yeah, there's a it's a four phase thing. You you have a base coat, then you have a lighter coat on top of that, and then you do the veining, and then you take a dry brush and whip it around on the wet paint. Well, can you tell us if any specific jobs your techies have to learn and do for the show? Okay, so this show's got few less props than some of the other shows. The props are the uh, um, like chairs, beds, things like that. And we don't have any big rolling pieces for this particular show. That's the other thing that a lot of times they'll bring in some set pieces. So for this show, I think I'm actually gonna get a couple of them to actually run spotlights for the show for a change, because usually I don't have enough text to do that. And I'm gonna have one person out the light board with me, and then the other people will bring it on the few different, like there's a bed that needs to come on, and. But if I tell you all this, I'll spoil the show. But there's certain things that need to come on during the show. <laughs> well, that sounds fun for your techies. Well, we're going to go learn some more stuff. Back Actually, to the before I do that, too, we started this thing that she was shooting something of this year, too. I'm giving them a uh, lesson in drop painting for this class. So, so I'm teaching them how to take a small picture and scale it up to a bigger picture. And create art! It's amazing. <laughs> cool. Back to the studio. Wow, it sounds like this show is really coming to life. Thanks for the information, Mr. Tim. Campers, make sure to thank the crew behind the scenes for all that they do. And 
Thank you for joining me on another episode of Camp Imagination News, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.